Hi, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. So, <laughs> oh, we're here. It's a GHP spotlight here on JLJ Media. I am one of your hosts, James Law Jr., and I'm here, of course, with Mr. Frank. Hey, everybody. Hold on. Moran. Hi, no. No, those are the, that was my one fan uh, <laughs> cheering for me. <laughs> of course. Um, the other day, I don't know if you saw it, I posted a picture of me drinking out of an AfterBuzz mug that I found. Oh, uh, it, could you just taste the, uh, just, I don't know, I guess the incompetence? No, it's... Uh, well, everybody was like, AfterBuzz. I'm like, no, it's not back, bitches. I, just, I just had a, a mug from that time period. Um, that I dug out to a picture of. That's all. Uh, that wasn't a saying that you had reached an agreement with uh, Kevin Undergaro. Well, you imagine? Oh, my God. Uh, no, that didn't happen. Even though the studios are filming a couple of things here and there, I saw a few things online. Oh. But I don't think AfterBuzz TV is back, but I saw some AfterBuzz Studios. I saw a couple of things. I saw that brick background. I saw the other one. I was like, oh, Interessante. Interesting. Uh, Maria Menounos related? or one, uh, was, one was Maria and one was Evan Mack, who did WWE stuff. Oh. Intriguing. I know. That's all I know, kids. I don't know nothing else. They don't talk to me, so I don't know nothing else. Um, but that was it. I saw, I saw that. I was like, I recognize that background. They were like, and welcome to After Buzz t- from After Buzz TV. No, it's from After Buzz Studios. I was like, from After Buzz Studios. Hmm. Oh, hello. The space is still there, folks. I mean, I saw it. It's still there. I mean, it's, it looks janky outside, but it's still there. It's still there. Well, uh, I mean, it's like a rental opportunity. Could be interesting. Well, that, well, they should have did a long, they should have done a long time ago. Hello, everybody. Well, welcome. Loving Frank's hair. Oh, hi, Ambassador Sam. Hi, Green Frashes. Hi, George. Hi, Jason. Yeah, Frank and I have our hair out today. That's true. And the same pants Patrick's off. Day. <laughs> Anthony's hair pants off. You'll see anything from the waist below. No, not at all. Uh, look, at, I got a belch. Um, this is actually just this is just juice. I swear it. Excuse me. They all very Jason. Your hair's very Jason-ish. Uh, that's true. Uh, and I've got my my freshly tattooed uh, sleeve ready to go. <laughs> as well. What is that? I'm like, well, what did Michael <laughs> say? What did that come? I mean, the way he did it was so hilarious. We're gonna talk about it, folks. Before we get started, um, we uh, also earlier today was the Wine on Me Spotlight and the Bold and Beautiful Me Spotlight. Both are out, audio and video. Me, Tammy Dotkovea, and Amanda Russ, we talked it out on both shows, trust and believe. We talked it out. Uh, it's out there now. Um, and after this, my chocolate twin, Tony Moore, and Dish and Days, they're back. And they have Eric Martzoff, my buddy. I love Eric Martzoff, who plays Brady on there. He's been there for years. Um, he's, it's going to be his first appearance on the show since After Buzz TV, actually. Um, so it's kind of funny uh, that's going to do that. But he's going to be on doing that. And that's on next after us at 3 p.m. So you want to check those folks out. I'm sure Tony, once again, will make some kind of joke about my age. Like he does every week. Um, and I just talked to him a second ago, actually. So I'm, I'm sure he will do it. Um, as you know, this is our last show for a, about a month. There might be a special here and there. Um, I have to have surgery and I will be laid out. So send me good vibes. We're going to talk about this show today. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, Shout out to Michelle Stafford who lost her stepdad, her mother's husband, uh, last week. Um, they are they are they are surviving and taking care of stuff. So we, I, I talked to her, so she's taking care of that. So I'm gonna give a shout out to her for that. Um, and um Robin Bernard, who played Terry back in the 90s, she passed away. She was an actress on the show, passed away also this week. Uh some of them's like, who is she? Go back in time, and you'll see her. She's just type in that, you'll see her, see her stuff. The hair, very nice gentlemen. They're all high. Yes, we're working it out today. It's all just wild today. Um, this is wild. I mean, I don't know. Oh, dang. Like, now I'm like, what am I doing? My hair's just so long, Frank. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, I think it's all the, I think it's all the church now, I think, going on. Thank you for saying, yeah, send me all the good vibes you can. Um, that's what, that's what I want. I'll be laid out for a while. But anyway, so you may see us during a, some time after that. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Um, we're going to go right into it, kids. We're going to go right into it. Jeez. I know. I'm going to start with Heather and Laura. <laughs> oh, before I even start that. So, for you guys who are taking notes, the first four days this week were still integrated writing. 
Friday was the first day of the new regime. So you get a, so you get a little idea what's going on. Overall, Frank. <laughs> Let me update my. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Frank, with the green <laughs> pen. <laughs> what is what were you? What are your thoughts about the weekend as we as we're transitioning? What are your thoughts? Uh, I the interesting thing is uh for me because I know you mentioned Heather and Laura. Uh, if we're gonna we're we're Franco Franco's tumor, yeah. Uh, uh, Heather, which is which is interesting. Uh, I would not if you'd have told me like characters that are probably gonna be sticking around and having some kind of something to do with, with the switch over coming. I I would have put Heather Weber very low at the the list, but uh. It, Surprisingly, she's going to be sticking around at least for a little while. Uh, I mean, I figure you don't make this such a big point if you don't have some other things to do with her. Like once she's supposedly, you know, uh, new hipped and, uh, you know, has a different mindset because of that. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's that. And then there's the Jason stuff, which is a. a uh, I mean, starting off, his introduction is both good, but also still slow. It hasn't completely overwhelmed uh, everything. I mean, people are, I mean, definitely people are talking about him, but uh, it's not like we're all, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm interesting about how they're rolling this out. And we'll get into it. Of course, of course, we'll get into it. Um, I, you know, okay, so for me overall, I know a lot of folks online are upset and have whatever going on. I so far have enjoyed the last two weeks. It has been much more watchable to me than it has been in months. I feel like things are going fast. They're not playing games. They're not playing games. It's just like, here's a story. And they're going with it. And they're following through with stories for a couple of days at a time. Like before we get something and I see it for two or three weeks, they go back in. Here, they're like, oh, no, we're back to that again. Oh, we're back to that again. Like, I actually like that. Um, and we'll break everything down into different pieces. But I want to start with Laura and Heather because they're going back in history. They're going back in time. And those who don't know this, Heather Weber was always a little kooky. She wasn't cuckoo crazy in terms of, like, murderous. And I love on the show, they actually said that. I'm with Frank. Would have never thought, thought that they would focus on that character. I was like, and I love the Weber connections. Like she likes Elizabeth because she was the Franklin, of course, who was a Weber, but she's a Weber also. So and her and Laura, we were friends once. They were friends once a long, 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 long time ago. And in some weird way, they're kind of connected as family. You know, we're through marriage and through Ace and through Jeff Weber and Rick Weber. I like guess it's, it's a whole, you go back in history, it's a whole, I kind of like they're playing on that. And I like the fact that they're making Heather a little more human again. And Ailey Mills, doing, I think, is doing a phenomenal job. I mean, whatever, they're, they're throwing shit at her. She's, she's doing it. She's working it. Um, The hip thing, I thought, I thought of Franco. I thought of the tumor. Um, but I'll take it. I will take it for even if it was called metatosis or whatever it was called. I like metal. Like, can you make a yeah. different name? I'll take it. Just if this means we get some good story out of this, I will. I will follow it. I mean, I will. I will follow it. I feel like they're correcting some wrongs already. We'll get into Alexis later. Like, I mean, there's some there's some stuff that's changed. Like, I feel like they're going okay. Let's get some of these turned around. And I feel like this Heather one is part of it because keeping Heather around reoccurring is good, right? Because I also, if Esme comes back, Spencer, like there's, I feel like stuff is coming down the pike. So let's 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 make let's, let's keep her because they're ready. They're ready to just gonna ship her off. Yeah. That was it. That was, we thought I literally Frank and I thought that was it. That was last week. We we're like, okay, well, bye, bye, bitch. It was good knowing you, but now it's kind of like. If they have bigger plans, it's good to have some cookie people around. So I'm I'm like, I'm like, and Ailey Mills is doing a great job. Ailey Mills is doing a great, is doing a great, she's having fun. You can tell she's having fun. But she was like, 
So it's Kevin and Ryan. Or like, like, I started laughing. I'm like, Laura's like, how do I fucking answer that? I was just like, what the, what the, <laughs> you know, I mean, but that's the thing. It's like, but they're sure have some kind of humanity all of a sudden. And I was like, but that was the whole thing back in the day. She, they brought the LSD story. It's a huge storyline back in the day. Like you can look all this stuff up or go on YouTube and see it. I remember seeing them when it happened. So I know these are good. So Friday's episode, especially that was the Friday's episode was the new head writers. The rest of the week was mixture. So it's uh, I'm glad that they're doing something with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and especially if we're keeping Cyrus in the mix as well, too, uh, yes. to see how that relationship develops. Because if she's sticking around, <laughs> it's something to be swinging at you with a surgical saw uh, and be like, oh, no, no, hey, that was just that was just my hip talking. But also her hating Kevin. Yeah. Because of Ryan. I mean, we, do, we don't get enough of that. I mean, so far, I will say this in this whole maybe uh, maybe later. I'm saying so again, I'm not doing any major 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 stuff yet until things start to play out but i think frank and i can both agree on this that john this is criminally underused no yes i know you both can agree on that i think we, we had a, we had a few shades of him this week but not in, but a whole different storyline actually which that was kind of crazy it's on the story too um we'll get to that also there's sorts to get to you guys but the thing is we don't get enough of people going, you look just like Kevin. We look just like uh, Ryan. Like, there's people, Ryan did some folks wrong. So I was like, I kind of like if they play that up a little bit, that's fine. I have no problem with that every once in a while. Um, because there's his twin. And, he, you know, everything Heather said before a couple weeks ago was all true. I mean, he tried to save his brother. And it, and it didn't work. It backfired. He tried to save him. It didn't work. Um, so, and having Laura as Heather's proxy, that, that was interesting. Stephen Lars, I think he's still in jail. That's why I can't even, you know, he can't do nothing. <laughs> um, and they don't need him on the show yet, folks. We got we're trying to trim down the cast. There's already two people already. So we can't bring him on just yet. But how are we going to do it? And she goes, well, I guess I have a close thing is she is the family. I guess. I'm the, I mean, it's just kind of, it's playing into history. Uh, even Laura's surprised as you, yeah. <laughs> by that <laughs> when it happened. She, she was like, like what? Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> you know, she was like, huh? What? Uh, that, that made me laugh, too. Her face. But there, but when she sat down and talked to her, like, what should I do? That was fascinating. Yeah. I, thought, I thought it was a fascinating conversation. Yeah, but it's also like, I mean, I suppose. But there's part of me who's like, why are we even having that debate? Like, you, you just want to sit here and just be, you know, kooky and possibly die, or do you want to get this hip gone and and see what's up? <laughs> I mean, interesting. But they did use. Kevin into Hat Daddy story, but when when Homegirl was looking at him walking by, I almost said her real name Verna. Uh, when I was still was looking at him walking by, I'm like, why is she looking at him? That was very interesting. And I then so down, I was so down for that. I was like, yes, all right, yes, uh, let's get him in. Some, let's get you know John Lindstrom and something else as well. Uh, yes, but does it seem to you like they're using this to just close that story off? Yes. And in chat room, you guys are saying it. And so it seems like a lot of folks like the conversation. Um, it was fine. It was a fine, yeah, it was a fine conversation. Um, but when he said it, he goes, It's because you were poor, be this, this, and black. And then they went to they went to another scene. I was like, wow, well, okay. <laughs> um, it was no, it's good. I, I think someone someone online, I don't know if you'll find this shit out. Someone online was like, he's off contract. He's off contract. I'm like, I but again, that don't mean anything these days, a lot of times. I mean, people, some people we know get more storyline and they're not on contract. I mean, so mm -hmm. kind of nowadays works. But I feel like they're closing this up. It's just fine with me. That's fine with me. Yeah, it, it just, uh, it, 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 this one is the, probably the, the story of everything that feels like the most 180 to me. Because they were really gearing up to be like, hey, we're going to be going in and investigating and tracking this guy down. And we're like, all right, we're expecting some kind of road trip. Uh, of sorts of uh, with Curtis and Hat Daddy, uh, it's like nope. Everything you need to know is just upstairs. That's it. We're gonna That's close it, it down. That's, <laughs> it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, uh, yes. When Heather was like, "Can you state your name?" Heather Moore, Heather Grant, 
Moore, Taylor. And it's, I forget. I like, that made me, that made me chuckle. <laughs> so the dead doctor was, was the racist. Apparently that's apparently that's apparently that's the, that's the deal. Um, but I, I'm okay with them closing up this storyline in a sense. Um, there is, we have 66 people watching right now. Wow. Okay. I know it's crazy. Hi everybody. It's all about Frank. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, I, the cat, we, we've said it for so many years. It's the cast is huge. You guys, you're going to have to cut some people. And if some go to reoccurring, I'm fine with that. Um, I think you, I think you guys out there want real good story. So we have to, we have to cut some of the cast. Yeah, we have to. It's just, it's just, it's just too much going on. It's too much going on. Man, I mean, I feel like of any, I mean, not that I want to deprive, you know, the, the Ashford side of the family. Any no, story, of course not. No, but no, no. this, I think, and we've talked about this for several, uh, several weeks, where this seemed like a weird story to kind of bring back up because we thought it had been kind of resolved. Yes. Uh, so to have it pop back up, we're like, huh? So I can understand why they would think the new writers could say, like, this is one we could just immediately just. Exactly. Leave. They felt the same way, clearly. They felt the same way. So, well, as well, so here's the problem, you guys. The problem is when new writers come in, not problem, when new writers come in, some of your storylines are going to drop. It's going to drop. That's just, that's what it is. It's going to drop. It's going to, it's going to, so certain storylines that were about to happen, the new regime has a different outlook. They're going to drop. They're going to stop. Some are going to stop without. And so I understand you guys feeling a little let down if it doesn't go any further than this. But I think part of it, I think that's just, that's what happened. That's just, that's a casualty. And I think at this point, is his storyline so important compared to other storylines you guys want? I mean, that's a, that's a rhetorical, that's a rhetorical question for you at home. Like, do you feel like there's other storylines they can tell that would be bigger and broader than this story? This this could be a good storyline. I mean, I, I love anything race related. I love the kind of story, but you know, folks, is this is this storyline so important compared to a lot of other stories? Would you rather see a Trina revisit Daddy storyline with Tagger? That would you rather have that instead, or would you rather have like Curtis's coming back to life? We had a little bit of that this week. You know, he's working. It's like there's 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 other storylines. I'm like, there's certain storylines are going to drop. It's just that's going to happen. Certain storylines are going to drop. That's just kind of that's kind of that's just kind of how that's going to work. And that's what happens in all subs. That's just the so yes, I'm right to feel shorted, but just that just just kind of what's gonna happen. Yeah, the Ashford side of the family is what I'm really curious to see how that's gonna yes stick out with this new writing team. I agree. I agree too. I'm with you guys. The black folks are curious to see what happens. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I did was I the person who saw chemistry between Drew and Jordan? <laughs> I saw a little chemistry. Yeah, well, uh, maybe we could get together and talk about more. Oh, oh, or I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I said, okay, maybe we'll get some of that. I mean, that's, I mean, who knows? Because Drew dropped Carly. Drew dropped Carly. He was like, I ain't standing for this shit. I mean, well, stuff. I mean it, it makes sense. I mean, it, realistically, anybody that's watched the show knows. And we had already talked about that, that it would seem weird to have Drew be the I've been out in this, so I'm glad he took the took the wheel and said, like, nope. He sure did. He sure did. He was just like, nah, nah, I'm good. And it was like, wow. They're, again, they're going fast. They're, they're, to me, why drag that out? Because I think somebody in chat just said, too, don't we want sh- storylines that are not just dragged out for dragged out sake? Right? Oh, everybody likes Drew and Jordan. Okay, Drew and Jordan, folks. Okay. They were very cute. I think they were very cute. But my thing is, we do not want things dragged out. But yeah, Drew heard Jason was back and said, "Not again." That's why I started to sound. He was like, and Carly was like, "What? What? How, what? What? How? What?" Um, and it's like, but he said everything we all know. Like, hello, mm-hmm. like he's the same thing that was like, and but he said, "I know you do love me. You loved me. You did." And she did. She thought Jason was dead. She did move on to Drew. But however, comma, drew back. Wait, drew back. Jason back. Yeah, everybody like he, knows. Yeah, like you said, like you know, you love Jax, you love Sonny. He did say that. He brought he we brought her past up, didn't he? Yeah, it's just like, but at the end of the day, it's Jason. He did. I've got to just say that he was like, you love Jax, you even love Sonny. And he said many times or whatever. He said, he said something. 
And I was like, and she couldn't say nothing. She literally was just like, you're right. Because and when she said, I just, I know him. I know he's not trying to kill. And Drew's like, that's it right there. You will always stand. Basically, he's like saying, you will always stand for Jason. Yeah. You will always stand for him. Uh, which, you know, I, I'm all for a shows when they write people at the top of their intelligence. Where, you know, it's like they could have dragged this out and they could have had Sonny or Carly and Drew kind of just. Right. Or even Drew just be like, oh, you know, it's fine, whatever. But nope. I like it's like yeah we we all know we've seen we we've all watched the show long enough well, yeah we all been here. <laughs> we've been here I love it I love I love that they just said let's screw this let's get this done now so now Carly is single yeah but I feel like he had to immediately go over to uh, Michael and Willows just wanted to let you guys know he I did he did he did that tell him mm-hmm. he did tell him <laughs> but him but see now him and Willow. Have a cute relationship. I'll give them a cute relationship, kind of. They, like, they just talk things out. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't have any use for Willow, but they're showing Willow kind of like, okay, she's a nurse now. Uh, Michael's being honest with her. He brought her over there. Uh, but we'll, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to, we'll get to all, we'll get to all that um, at some point. But, uh, but first, I just want to say, I, I thought I saw some chemistry between Jordan and Drew. Girl, Angela, I'm for a Jordan having anybody black, white, yellow, green, whatever. She's hot. She should have somebody after her. I mean, I will take storyline. I will take storyline. If that, if that, if they, if they don't want to give her anybody else, I don't think I want her and Curtis back together. I don't think I want to make. I don't want to make back together. I don't think. I, I mean, certainly the new writers could have a different point of view. Yeah, of, they have a point, for yeah. sure. But uh, you know, I mean, at least as viewers, yeah. you know, I think we've kind of seen from the show that there was a perfect opportunity if the show had wanted to back when you know. The fact that Curtis saw took back Portia uh, and did not take back Jordan, given the severe, yeah. I mean, the difference, like Portia, well, Portia was way worse than what Jordan yeah. did. Yes. But the show said, like, nope, Curtis is going to make it work with Portia. And I was like, what? Okay. Yeah. So. So we'll see what this writing regime has, because we don't know yet what they're, what they, what, yeah, what they want to do with that. But I think they were chem testing. Drew and Jordan a little bit. You, you may as well. I mean, yeah, you're right. Why not? I mean, I was right. say, why not? Yeah. I mean, anyway, I was going to say, be nice and messy not? for when Curtis and, you know, I mean, because like Curtis and Drew would have to have that talk at some yes, point. Exactly. So, so it could work. So far, it could work. It could work. Um, I say, I just think we want, I want, I want Jordan in a storyline. She used to always be a storyline. So I'll take what I can get at the moment. Long as if it's written well, I'll take it. Yeah. And we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see, obviously, is that. Yeah, but I think I just want to mention that, folks. Um, also, we need to see what they're going to do with Drew. Because Drew is somebody now, they keep, they always, as we said before, he's always sidelined when Jason returns. So, um, so I'm curious if they're going to really set up Drew a certain way. Because I got to mention this story. I, I got to mention this because I, I was cheering in my seat. I was like, I I wanted to call Frank. I was excited. Another thing they're changing, folks. Mark my words. Alexis being a lawyer again. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that clearly is what Pastor K. Pye said. Get this bitch back to being a lawyer. Fuck this this fucking uh, newspaper shit. And I love, I'm so, uh, you guys. Here and Diane working again. I I have not been this excited in a long time for Alexis' storyline. For Alex storyline. Uh, you know, that's one of those things where you can definitely see the hands of a new writer coming in. Because when a when a previous regime says stuff, it's like, there's just nothing we can do. This is it. We we put Alexis in a box. She can no longer be a lawyer. Uh, and now she has to be a newspaper person. Uh, all it takes is a new writing regime to go like, you know what? No, she doesn't she doesn't have to be in that box. She can be out of that box and she can be a, she can still be a lawyer. And we're gonna show you how. Like, right, because we don't know because when Diana was like Hmm. Oh, I love oh, their exchange was so funny. When she, <laughs> when she said, number one, mob, mob, you know, mob lawyer, redhead, uh, colored red. And when she said, so what was the problem that you that you're not a natural redhead? I laughed so hard. And she's like, ha 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 ha, whatever. That was hilarious. I thought that's great. And, and right after the rain, now that could set her up against Molly. 
It brings her back to the to the PCPD. And like it opens so much more for Alexis than being a stupid newspaper person. I've hated that storyline for the last how many years has been? I've hated it. Yeah. You know, it's I wouldn't have minded it if it had been told better. And it just well, never, well, that too. Well, there you go. That too. Uh but to have uh Nina come in and rail at Alexis about this because it was the gossip columnist that said it. Yes. And Nina was all about having this gossip columnist. So I'm like, why are you? <laughs> well, uh, okay, Nina. Yeah. I just, I, I, I definitely want, Ale- I mean, I felt like Alexis, like, nope, I just want out. I just, I want to be gone now. And she should. It's good. I, yeah, I, think, I, I mean, think it's good. You felt like, it, you felt like they were closing their shop when they're, you know, Gregory's resigning. Uh, because without Gregory there, then what's the point? Uh, yeah. for that storyline. So yeah, I can see why they're like, okay, well, uh, then maybe we'll get Nina out of there, or we just never see we never see the invader again, and it's just Nina, you know, just like gleefully looking at online headlines about like what her paper is doing. It becomes a full gossip column rag, uh, going after <laughs> Drew and Carly when they're not even together. So what's the point? I don't know. Right. Right. You know, um, I agree about Alexis, but they made Nina look so bad to accomplish this. On some level, yes. Well, they they write Nina, they did write they write her one way. So hopefully, we'll see if that changes. Yeah. Um, so far, hasn't changed. Um, oh, one last yeah. thing on the Drew thing uh, was when he's breaking up with Carly, where he says, "I'm a businessman, and so I know when to cut my losses." I'm like, what about how about that Navy SEAL part of you? What was that? You're right. supposed to be like a man of action as well. That was military. And now we're we're just gonna focus on the business. Okay, whatever. Right. Um, Alexis, what Alexis that's the, remember that's the whole point, Chris. So she was this part. That's why Diane goes, I have a proposal for you. And she said, but I was this part. Again, I will take I it's a soap opera. I will take whatever law from 1912 they pull out of somewhere and says she can come back. I mean, I I'll take it. I mean. To me, sometimes I don't care if it was amnesia or a dream season. Well, I went back to what I want sometimes, and I want Alexis as a lawyer. I do. I thought. I thought take, making Alexis not a lawyer anymore was dumb. I've always felt that way. So I just for, for me, I don't care who it is. I don't care. If we have five lawyers on the show. They need lawyers on the show. Some of them are reoccurring anyway. Alexis is one of the few ones who is not reoccurring. So. Her and Diane, she'd be the main lawyer. Then you got Diane. Then if Marty comes back, whatever, that's fine. It's a few. There's some other ones. And Scott's not was not full time. So I mean, it should be Alexis. It, to me, it should be Alexis. And it's it's definitely more interesting if you're gonna have these court scenes to have characters that you know going up against each other rather than just exactly one against some rando yes. uh, day player. And you're like, no, no, no. So if you've got if you if Alexis is back in the mix, that gives you four lawyers to play around with. I agree. And um, well, who's gonna run? Yeah, who's gonna run Crimson? Who's gonna run the Invader? Exactly. Well, Nina's gonna run the Invader, obviously. But who's gonna run Crimson? That's the, that's gonna be kind of thing. And I don't know they're gonna they're gonna probably hire somebody and then close that down, probably. Yeah, because I mean, it clearly, I mean, I don't think anybody really cares about that. Um, yeah, nobody cares. That storyline, I think, a storyline will be wrapped up. Nobody gives a shit. And also, folks, they're saying in chat, it seems like they're wrapping up Gregory too. Man. Well, you know, you know there's a there's a there was a bit there at the end of Friday's episode where, where Finn calls his buddy that I thought we were cracking the door open. I know, I thought of you. I did, yes. I thought of you. I was like, this is misdiagnosis time. Uh and maybe that is a prelude to that where Finn's like, it's this you're planting a seed with Finn saying this seems to be going a lot faster. Uh so if there's you know some kind of Hail Mary, I was hoping that this would open the door to like, oh, guess what? We found out it's something that has similar uh, you know. You know, shows uh, you know symptoms of ALS, but is not ALS, and we can solve it. I don't know. I don't know if that's the prelude to that. I could only hope. Because why? Why give us that scene? Ugh. I don't know. We have no idea. Again, we have no idea. We really don't. We really don't know. We, nobody knows anything. We don't know what their plans are. I mean, no one knows. I mean, seriously, nobody knows. So I don't. I was just like, well, I mean, are they are they closing it up? I mean, are they? Or are they going to continue and give us what me and Frank been wanting since the beginning? So I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I mean, for the most part, like, if they're close with the head daddy storyline, fine. I think we agree that that's like okay, and you know, kind of a 
you know, unnecessary storyline at this point. If they're close on Carly and Drew, sure. You know, I'm fine with that too. Uh, so I would think, I was like, you must see the potential to keep Gregory uh, around just for Tracy alone. Uh, but I don't know. Because then you also give us the Heather Weber wild card. So clearly they've got thoughts and ideas of their own. And I don't know. Now, Crystal says she does care. Somebody she has to be over both companies. They're part of the canvas. Crystal, I, I tell you this. Things drop when new head writers come on. So I'm going to say, I have no idea if they're going to drop Crimson. I was telling you, the last regime basically killed it. So at this point, who's going to run it? Is that going to be, Max is not leaving to go run, uh, run Crimson again. I doubt that. I highly doubt that. Um, but we don't know what they're going to do with Deception. We have no idea what they're going to do with Deception, you guys. That whole storyline, we have no idea. So I don't know. But I just think, but I'm just saying that a lot of regimes, they come in, they drop sets, they drop storylines, they drop stuff all the time. And to me, they don't do a lot of business drama on the show. Y&R does, but not GH. It's hospital. But I'm just saying, we rarely see ELQ. We rarely see Aurora. We don't have, so I don't know if they, if they, I don't know if this new regime thinks it's important enough. Just, just I mean, I know some of you guys may care, but I understand that. But I'm just saying that love. I mean, in the, I always say, think of the big picture. Is it that important compared if it frees up other storylines you guys want? I mean, I feel like they're always, to me, it feels like there needs to be some third entity around. Whether you know, you've got your hospital drama, you've got your mob stuff. As you know, for however much people like the. The ratio of that but then it feels like there's needs to be like a third element like an lnb records or uh or a deception uh where you know that there are people that can they can funnel other people into other stories to have them together so i mean whether it's anything that's current whether it's deception or crimson or the invader or something new that the new head writers want to introduce and funnel everybody into that but i feel like there there should be there there needs to be like a third business or right. kind of community option. It might be a whole new thing. Yeah. Who knows? And like I said, they may have a whole idea we don't even know about yet. So that's the kind of so I tell my we we have to kind of watch these shows with open mind because we don't know exactly what's gonna come next. And so I say there's it's gonna it's gonna seem a little disjointed a little bit because they're trying to switch over. And it can be a little clunky sometimes and that can that can happen. So some of you guys, I understand, you're like, I like that storyline, or I like this one, or blah, 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 and, and all of a sudden it's gone. I get it. Um, so I'm, I'm just saying it's... Now, here's a side note, folks, and I know that um, some of you guys brought the Trina situation, we brought the Astrid family. She's not as important, unfortunately, as some of the other actors on the show. She's not in the, she's not in the top ten of the call sheet. So, of course, the larger ones in the call sheet We'll be doing the transition over. I'm sure Trina will be back on, but like I said, again, we'll be curious to see what they do. Um, I don't think it's a racial thing. I don't. I. I and then you know me. I would tell you, I think it was racial. I don't think there is. Um, they're trying. They're they're switching over. So we'll see. I will in a month or so. If I don't see anything with her, then I will. Of course, I will. Of course, you know, share my opinion. But I think right now, um. I always say PCPD is a third energy entity. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I I kind of always kind of revolve that around the mob stuff. I mean, because there's the one that that's the one they're mostly involved with. So, so yeah, but that is true. The PCPD, uh, yeah. and we'll see how competent they are there. Well, the top ten are people like are, are sorry, folks: Sunny, Carly, Ava, Alexis, um, TJ, Portia, Curtis. Um, Sam, Dante, I mean, those are those are all the top. Those are those are all the ones in the top ten, basically. Those are the ones. Those, those ones have stories right now. Jocelyn, Dex, all they're they're all they're further down. But these are the ones who've been on the show for a long time, and they're changing, they're switching the story over with these folks in it, and then hopefully they'll start bringing the other folks and start kind of doing that. So, and Trina right now doesn't have a boyfriend at the moment because he's dead. Um, and, um, yeah, she should be there with Josh right now is so busy with Dex at the moment. They, they're, they're, they're kind of doing that one, but I think Trina will come out and she'll come out. I think I have a feeling she'll be on at some point. 
I have a feeling Spencer Lee. This gonna be. This, I feel like I feel like Esme and Spencer aren't gone for good. I feel like that's just kind of because that's why they didn't find the bodies. I don't think they're gone for good. I think that's why Heather's sticking around and Cyrus is sticking. I mean, I feel like there's. We don't know this, but I feel like there's a plan. I I really wish that they would have fi- reconfigured the ending of that Trina and Spencer and Paris Esme storyline, yeah. where Trina still stayed in Paris. She's like, you know, even if this happened, I, I still want to continue this. Uh that because it's it's nice to be able to have you know characters go away for a little bit. You don't have to worry about justifying why they're not on canvas currently. <clears throat> and when that character comes back, you can write it out any way about stuff that happened to them in Paris that they're bringing back with them. And you can bring back a story with them or whatever. But it's more it's more elegant, I think, that way than to like, well, where is she right now? And yes, Trina and Ava can have scenes, but they have not been in Trina's. Being Ava's, they haven't, she's been busy with the mob stuff with Sunny, so she hasn't really been in her. She hasn't really been in her studio or anything yet. So I think the, the Jason story is number one right now, folks. Whether you like it or not, it's number one. Just is. And right now he's on two shows. He's wrapping up stuff over on Days of Our Lives. His character mm-hmm. survived the shots. I saw him while he survived the shots, and he's over here. So the st- top storyline now is Jason, and then. Oh, good. So Trina and the, and the Allery game, that's, that's fine. That's great. People are saying that we're going to see her this week or whatever. Um, that's fine. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, give them time because it's a, they have a large cast. They have a large cast. And so it's it's just tough. And they have, they have to watch their budgets. They have to watch their budgets and make sure everybody gets their, everybody has their guarantees, which means how many episodes they're supposed to get. So it's a, it's a, it's a lot. They, it's a lot. They say Crystal Grizzly should be a nice tree to stay in Paris, but she was just too traumatized. Um, so anyway, but yeah, but and right now, so so a lot of people are saying not having Trina grieve on screen will make let Rise of the Dead less impactful. I don't know, it depends on it. if it's a good story. I think it's a good thing. I mean, it depends on the on the writing. I wouldn't I wouldn't make that statement, you guys. If the writing is really good, it can still be impactful. Uh but every you know, a little goes a long way. Right, right, and you guys want you guys just want to see Trina morning every day. No one, no one wants to see Trina morning every day. That's boring after a while. I've I'm already sorry. seen enough of it. Right after right. the whole pair of stuff, I'm I only see I only see it every single day. I mean, so to me, it's like she's she's grieved enough. I mean, on some level, for me, I say now the next step would be finding her a life post Spencer. That's what we need to see Trina in. What can she do post Spencer? So that's why I, like that's that's the whole thing is so. Um, now some folks are saying that they're <laughs> that uh, I saw this online. I've seen it in chat a little bit. The Jason reveal, and you said yourself, actually, I don't mind the reveal this time because he came back from the dead before. Mm-hmm. So I kind of I don't mind that some folks are finding out off screen. I just don't care. I don't mind that so much. It's to me, it's still impactful because when they meet up, it will still be impactful. Michael, Danny. So what do you think about it? Danny saw him first? Yeah, that was uh, not who I was expecting. You oh. know, uh, days, days that, uh, you know, I wish that uh, uh, Leslie was, you know, uh, more, more healthy and more able to be part of the show on an ongoing basis. Um, I mean, but great to have Danny because, I mean, that should be we've been seeing Danny kind of, you know, yes. having these moments. Yes. So it does make sense to, to see it. And interesting to, you know, have Jason have, you know, it's not as easy to, to brush off uh, a teenager as it is like just a kid actor in a scene. Like, just can you just go in the corner and just play with these crayons for a few minutes? Be like, like, no. <laughs> it's nope. Like, nope. Uh, and, and, the, and the reality is like, oh, this is the gun. I have a gun laying out here right in front of you. It is not something to be taken lightly. And he's like, nope, safety is on. Uh, so you see, there's no danger about anything like this, uh, and him not wanting to get, I mean, it makes sense. That doesn't want to get Danny involved. So and what parent would want to get them involved? I liked it. I have no, I mean, and it, he was mad at first, but he didn't keep it mad at law. And he said, I swear on your life. Oh, blah, blah. It's like, okay. And he was like, okay. And it's like, and it makes sense that Danny would help. If it was Jake, it'd be a different story, I think. So I'm glad that he did it. And now he's a secret from Sam. As we, that's our, they're already tenuous relationship there. So there's that going on. 
bringing in Michael and Michael walking in and was like, I uh, 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 I mean, like, just, I'm like seeing him, but having to think fast to kind of like, you know, like to kind of, he needs to tell me he had been shot and him say, okay, I'm gonna get Willow involved. And I thought he told the truth. Yeah. And Willow, and Willow came in and they filled him in on stuff. They had, they had a little Bobby, a moment about Bobby and, and it was Jason. Jason thought Michael, basically Michael was his. I mean, he raised him the first like year. I mean, that was the whole thing. And talking about Amelia, it was kind of, that part was kind of sweet. I, I have so far, I have no problem with how this has played out so far for me. It is, I have no problem with it. So far. Interesting though that uh, and how it is uh, on soaps where people uh, will hate each other for every reason, one way or the other. But like with with uh, Jason, Michael's like there's as he's telling Danny, there's always a reason. For what he does, uh, he's so willing to just uh, like nope. Jason's got a reason. If he's not telling us right now, there's a reason why, and we just have to trust him that he's going to do the right. That he'll 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 let us know when and the time is right. Yet with with Sunny, nope. There's no you know <laughs> there uh, there was no that sort of forgiveness. And whether that was just the way that that, that those current writers were exactly. dressing, you know. Uh, but this is like you know, I mean, it does realistically you know it doesn't always have to be like they came back from the dead i'm gonna be angry about it uh it's like nope i'm this person you know he's has i i love this man he's been there for me through thick and thin uh he went to jail for me <laughs> it's uh uh yeah if he, he will tell us well when the time is right and so for right now i'm just gonna i'm gonna trust it and just and just help him as best i can Same here so Joy, um, they did a whole thing after she recovered. She graduated nursing school, and she, and she we have seen her at, at the at, at the general hospital. Um, yeah, I guess you missed those scenes, but she, okay. knows she they had a whole thing on that. They, they weren't that. They weren't. They weren't exciting, Joy. They weren't exciting. They weren't exciting. Yeah. I think you, I think you just missed. I mean, you probably missed those scenes, but they had a whole. Frankly, <laughs> I mean, they weren't like anything spectacular. <laughs> uh, but Frank's right. They just. But you probably just missed missed them. Yeah, hey, she's not submitting those for her Emmy consideration. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like so anyway, so it's kind of funny. But um, but anyway, so um, so now we got we got him hiding out there, of course, um, at the quarter main boathouse. We so say that's a famous thing place there, and there's history in there, um, and all of that. So I think it's I thought to me how it all played out was fine with me. It's all fine with me. I have no. I just have no problem with it. Um, moving through, the horse is laughing at us. Moving through the through line of Sam is pissed, and Sam's taking the side of Dante, which part of me thinks she's just in shock of Dante. And I think when because when her and Carly caught her, I didn't see this coming either. Where she was like, "I can't look at Carly right now. I don't want to be bothered with her." She was mad at Carly. And I was like, because they're supposed to be friends, right? And so I was like, and you saw Jason. But I was like, Carly explained to you exactly what happened. He showed up in her living room. They had a little reunion. Then the cops came, basically. They didn't have time to talk about nothing else. Yeah. Like, Sam, so like, but he didn't really? He didn't say nothing about that? No! He said, it literally, they came at the door, right? You should have called the police. <laughs> All this stuff. I think I, I want to believe she's just in shock because... She loves Dante so much because her it made very clear. Her and Sam, well, her and Jason were over. Now they make they're making that very clear. This they're making that very clear. So I don't think it's gonna be a Sam Jason re sorry, J Sam fans. Yeah. There's gonna, be, there's gonna be no Sam Jason review, I don't think. Which is fine by me. I, I don't need that. And it is just it is nice to not have to worry about that possibility where like Jason comes back and all of a sudden all old loves are, you know. Or possibilities. It's like no, no, no. You know, it's great. People can move on, and and yes, they cared for that person one time, and at some level, they still do care about that person, but they are not in love with them the way they are with their current partner. Yes, exactly. So I think so. I just think that it's one of those things where I kind of like the conflict. She got my nerves a little bit. Angel, me too. She hurt me a little bit, but I'm like, maybe that's what she's supposed to. I think because she's just so focused on this and. <clears throat> and so that's kind of so that's kind of interesting, and you know, and having, um, actually having Christina there, wow, they actually involving her. Now she knows what happened to her dad, and they actually had a scene together. It was like, oh yeah, I'm like oh great, 
they actually they're actually talking about this a little bit. Um, and the Sam, um, I liked I liked several things. I like the mo- I actually enjoyed the Molly pursuits of conversation about Sam. I also liked the Sam Sunny conversation, where she was like, "You know what you need to do to Sunny," <laughs> and Sunny was like, "Okay, bitch. Okay, okay." Like, because he's trying to figure this out himself too. Like, what's going on here? Um, he doesn't want to believe that Jason did it. He doesn't want to believe it. He doesn't want to believe it. And right now, and rightly, it's rightly so that Carly believes it automatically. That makes complete sense. Yeah. That's but everybody else is kind of going, what, huh? What, huh? And even with the Danny shows up <laughs> and Alexis, I kind of like that Alexis and Danny kind of walk off, do a little thing. I kind of like that. Um but they're really are struggling. Oh, great. Please go ahead. Oh, no, that was with um, that was with Laura, where they talked about... Uh, yeah, that was something different. different. That was with Laura about the get video games, yes. <laughs> and Lucky and Sly, but still a piece of history. I, yes. I, again, it's like, it's just, it's... You and I have always said this. I think a lot of folks who do these shows, and a lot of you guys in the chat, too. Sometimes a few words in, in a dialogue goes a long way. We go, okay, okay, now they're tying this together. Oh, okay, that does make sense. I like the fact that everybody's related to each other like family members. Before it's like, you know, your old man. I remember about that. They were like, he wouldn't. I mean, Spencer would never say that to you, you know, to Dante. Like it was like that was his uncle. So he always said uncle. So like he would never. I like the fact everybody. Everybody's remembering they're related. And that part to me, I'll take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. Uh, but uh, you know, let, you know, if we're going to bring back characters. Uh, a new writing team bring back slot. Why not? Let's uh, why not? Yeah, I know Spencer Eckert. Spencer, why yes. not? I mean, why not? I'd love, I'd love to have back uh, all grown up. Uh, so we're not getting lucky, clearly. Um, but who knows, right? We have, we have no idea. What's, again, we know this is all just starting, still running his worm business. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. But it's but it just started, just start everything's just starting, you guys. And we have to, we have to give it at least, I, I say, folks, give it at least a month of the new writing and then we'll fully I feel like when we come back we can fully actually go like dig dig okay this works this doesn't work I just think that it's it's just it's just it's it's right now they're switching over they're, they're really they're literally switching over so we don't know what the new storylines are going to be we're getting glimpses of them on Friday we got glimpses of them so I'm just kind of going that's I'm just saying I'm enjoying so far some of the things that have gone on um because it just seems like they're moving ahead and just, I mean, having having Dante just stay stay like that for a while is good because it's it's helping all the story around him. It's like he gets a little break. You know, let's find out Dante out for a second, a little break, and then yeah, by all, you know, go ahead. The, those are the easy days where you just got to just sit back, <laughs> and, you know, have a tube yeah. on your face, and just uh, yeah. collect that paycheck. Yep, yeah, he'll <laughs> he'll wake up. I, I I he'll wake up. I think we fine. He'll wake up. Um, but I, but I just think it's but right now it's all still tied to Jason who's still on the run and so that's kind of the thing we have to let, we have to let them kind of just, let them see, let's, let's see how these storylines let's see what direction they're going let's give them a chance to see what's going on so as we talk about what's happened this week we're talking about it just kind of what we just saw but we don't know for sure it seems like some things they are wrapping up, and some things they are kind of. But yeah, we haven't gotten. To, thank God we haven't. We had we had Lois talking to Sunny. That's history. That's history. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, I am down for anything that just uses Lois uh, and is not Quarterman related. Like, give yeah. me out, give me out. You know, put her put her in other stuff, uh, which is great. So this and who else would? I it, mean, it makes the best sense for her that she be talking to Sunny. I agree. Um, there's no, there's no, I haven't not seen any rumors about Dominic Saproni leaving who plays Dante. I've not seen anything that he's leaving. No, so. no, but we, I mean, we all know how it is. It's somebody, you know, gets critically injured on any soap. They're just going to be sidelined for a few days. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, there'll be days where we, we go into the room and we just see a hand. Yes. Uh, you know, but uh, rest assured, he will come out of it. I did see something online like when he wakes up, he's going to think he's still married to Lulu. I'm like, that's uh, who knows. That's there's always rampant speculation and supposed gossip about upcoming storylines. 
I would only say if that was actually true, I hope not, because we've had enough kind of amnesia related storylines on the show to last a, a, a long time. Uh, yes. Now, Andy brings up a point. I do feel they should include him more. And that's Rocco. Rocco's been mentioned. But he has a mother, you know, who's in a coma, and our father who's in a coma. That's that's a trip. So I think it'd be a little a little more about, about that. Bring back Quinn. That's another that's another show, folks. That's bold and beautiful. Um, I love her on that show too. We just over. Um, but but his thing, but it's it just it's he'll wake up, he'll wake up, and the whole thing, and it'll it'll there's a long game to this because Jason Jason eventually will get caught. We know that, but it's gonna happen, and we're gonna go down that road. I feel like we'll go down that road. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's gonna go down that road at some point. It will. So he'll get back. He'll come back. Just right now, he's just some time off. That's all. That's all it is. Um. What about storyline? 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 Um, what am I missing? Uh, oh well, I mean, we do have. Uh, <laughs> we want to just talk about the great scene was last week uh, of uh, Jake and Finn talking about the vape. What was that? <laughs> and Mel Elizabeth knows what happened. It was like, goodness, that wasn't my kid and all that. Okay, I mean, that is a storyline. Obviously, they're setting up. They're setting up Jake and. M. Danny, which I'm fine with that on some level. That's fine. Um, and a, they're, they're all getting older. Her boys are getting older. And they're all kind of, the kids are there. Kids aren't meant to be on for a long time, folks. They're meant to be on a little, you know. So, I mean, that's the thing. So, um, sorry, you guys. Jay Sam's not coming back together. Not, it's not happening. But you guys, I mean, I'm trying, I've been saying this for so long. I feel like a broken record. I'm going to say it again to you guys in the chat room, to you 74 people out there. The end game is Jason and Carly. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you guys don't like that. You guys don't want it. I wish I was wrong, but that's that's the end game, folks. That's the end game. The only time that Sam will break up with Dante is if Lulu comes back. And it's the only time. I think that's why. That's why. I think. I think they like Sam and Dante together. Yeah, and I don't know if that's even. You know, I. I... For me, I, I don't even want it to be a guarantee that if Lulu came back, that Dante right. would, you know. I think that's the closest. I, I think, I think the Jason storyline. I think for her, her and, they're going to be adversarial for a while, and then at some point, comes to an agreement at some point, I guess. But I don't think romantic. That's done. It's it's Carly and Jason. That's what they're. That's what they want. And nobody stays mad at Jason for long. They don't. They don't stay. They don't stay mad at Jason very long. Nobody does. Um, uh, interesting, God, enough, like uh, Danny and or uh, Drew and Jason, because like Drew was, you know, I mean, they did this whole thing on Cassidy Island back there, uh, before when Jason was supposedly killed, or at least thought he was to be killed, where they seem to be kind of you know working together, but it's still, you know, like Drew's like, I don't know, you know, we never were close, I don't know what this guy's with what, what, what his deal is. Sure, I got some of his memories in my head, but what do I know? I've been gone for two years. Um, the ratings will be kind. Well, we won't know about the ratings until we see what happens. Um, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like I said, I know some of you guys don't want to hear it and don't like it. That's fine. You do not like it. I mean, that's everybody's right to do that. But we'll we'll see how the ratings go. I mean, that's that's not a guarantee that the ratings won't go up. I mean, it's you know, I don't mean anything because if you don't like it, I mean, there's certain things I don't like, but the ratings stayed fine. I didn't like them. They stayed, they stayed fine. So we will. I guess we will see how it goes from there. Um. But I'm sorry, no lazy liaison fans. So far, no Jason and Elizabeth either. I, it seems they're committed to Finn, but I'm curious. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what they're going to do. Uh, other storylines were uh, staying with Jason for one second is that we do get a little bit of what happened to him after the cave in at Cassadine Island, where he was taken by two men with. Oh, yeah. Point. Uh, and then we get this scene with him and Jagger. Uh, because he he was felt you know he was put into service and to be a, a to be a mercenary, a yeah, mercenary. Uh, they, they they I didn't take they didn't waste time on that either. I was like, well, okay, here we go. He couldn't get out. He couldn't get out. So somehow he didn't get crushed. He just couldn't get out. He was stuck. But I I think it's got to be more than just like him saying that you know we got Rico charges. Uh, oh, it's, it's probably more. It's probably more. I mean, it's yeah. just the beginning. It's, so. just, it's just the beginning. But I'm saying that it's I was like you're right. These kind of these we're not gonna waste time. So, but it's definitely more to the story. There's definitely, I'll say more to the story, but it's like, here's the initial story. 
I got out this way. He doesn't know anything about Britain yet or anything. That'll come in due time. We have to remember, some of these things don't make any sense to talk about at the moment. Like, they're, they're in some other, they're in another moment. Um, it'll come up at some point. It'll come up. So it's like, so I'm like, uh, to me, again, if they write this very well, and the guy who plays Jagger, John, I like him. Sorry, I like him. Yeah. He's kind of, he's also kind of, he's a little mysterious. Because I think so many folks in the chat, too, is like, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? Like, I don't mind that. I don't mind kind of guessing what he is. Um, but the actor to me is doing a great job. I, I like him. Yeah, I mean, and this and that scene with Jason definitely shows that there's, you know, he already had a, plenty of stuff on his plate already in terms of history with Sonny, uh, and and making sure that you know he was letting everybody that knew Robin know to to respond to his six month old emails. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, so right. you know you, you can talk about that. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. <laughs> uh, yes. So to have like add this extra wrinkle of some kind of past with Jason. Yeah. There's, right. there's more. It might be easy. There's more. There's more. There's more. So I just we just we just gotta wait and see how it plays out. I mean, you know, like, but there's but it was interesting to give us that tidbit. Like I didn't expect that so soon. Either. I was like, didn't expect that. So I'll take I'll take it. I'm like, again. I think that this regime is realizing, which we always say, we say it a thousand million times, pacing is everything. And I think what, and what we're getting is we're getting good pacing. I think we're not used to this. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, this is like good pace. Like, I, I, like there were a couple of times when I was like, oh, 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 oh. I mean, I was just like, I wasn't expecting, I just wasn't expecting so fast to get this answer or that answer or this pairing or this you know i again didn't think danny and jason would be i, I had no clue i mean it's kind of it's kind of crazy i kind of like this i, I almost kind of like jagger he's hot number one adam harry says the guy he's hot but he has chemistry with a few people so i wonder he's somebody they could keep around as a leading man they could if written well yeah, I mean, I like the things with good. Carly. They're great. Yes, that could be a big thing. A Carly, Jason, Jagger, three way, three way. I didn't mean to say that. Um, oh. Oh. The Frank's like sure. I meant <laughs> so it's a family show, Frank. I meant uh, triangle, <laughs> <laughs> um, or him and Anna. Or him and so and so. I mean, like, I you just need to yes, and check out my interview with um uh, with with Selena Wu with Lydia. Look, please check that out there now. Check it out. And I'm glad you like my interviews. I try my best. Uh, I want to interview him, folks. Don't worry, I'm trying to get to people. I'm trying to get to people. I'm trying to get to people. Um, so it's it's on my list. Um, but yeah, but anyway, so um, I just think that the guy brings so much to the table right now, and they're and they're, and they're right, and they've been. And through both regimes, they're kind of writing him pretty well. Mm -hmm. So Jagger, they please keep Jagger. I agree. I think I think we should keep him. And if they if they again if they write him well, uh, and what I and, and I am down if they just have Sonny always call him Jagger. Oh yeah, me too. Oh please, please. always just call him Jagger oh, because please. when they're at the cop when they're at the police station and he's walking out and he goes, hey, you know, see you later, Jagger. Uh, and then when I he calls back to him, I thought he was gonna say, uh, it's John now. <laughs> I'm so he just, he just looked at him like he just looked like, oh, <laughs> he's so he's so annoyed. But then he had a soft moment for a second. I was sorry to hear about Dante. Yeah, he said that. I think he meant it. Like, this is this is this is kind of messed up. Like, this whole thing, Dante's a good cop. He's like, this is messed up. I know he's your son, but this is all messed up. Yeah, especially for whatever Jagger might be mixed up in this, yeah. uh, you know, with, with the on the Jason side of it. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting and and an interesting conversation between Anna and Sonny too, where it's just like, yeah. who would have thought that I'd be? Usually, I'm the one hiding Jason, and I'm telling you right now to find him. Right? No, no, was that crazy? And I think, see, the thing about this, and Anna talks about she talked about how he saved her life that time. And how she got to know him differently. Mm -hmm. I think that's the whole point is it's, none of it is black or white. 
And if it's if it's written well, the shades of gray are great. Anna has so many shades to her. We know that. Um, that that I like that. I like that she's she she was double agent at one point. She's done things that she's not completely innocent herself. Yes, she is about the law also. Um, she's grown to to care about Sonny. A lot of these guys were all because of her daughter, which to me I get that. It's like if someone's good to your child when you're not there and they're good to her, there's a whole respect thing there too. And I totally get it. And I and I, I know that Jagger is part of that, and um, and Jason is part of that, and Sonny is part of that. So it's that weird thing of like, I know you, can, but she said I will go for the law always. I mean, it doesn't matter. But she's like, but I do see a different side to them. So I, so I just, you know, because I just, I think, I just, it's, I love it. Oh, and and, and Anna and Molly talked. That was interesting too. Yes. Never seen them together. We never seen them together. And but and but Molly comes because she is the DA's office, and they had a very interesting talk. I was like, wow, that's the first time I even cared about Molly in any way. I was like, okay, I can handle that. Uh, absolutely, because it was not about the baby storyline, which no. was great, and it was just yeah. like, no, 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 we want to see like a, a Davis girl that is involved in the law, yes. trying to compartmentalize, you know, her job from her feelings. Yes, I agree. Yeah, so I'm done for that. Uh, one other thing that was interesting was just uh, Selena Wu's reaction to all of this. Oh, yes! <laughs> Where she thinks it's like Sunny running a big con and trying to take her out. Well, I mean, you would you'd be, bar- you'd be paranoid, obviously, as yeah. a mob boss. Um, Curtis not believing it, but Hat Daddy was like, it don't matter who the messenger is, like you said. It may be time to really look, really look at. We have eighty four people in this chat room today. What the f? Thank you everybody for being here. Hit the like button. Uh, donations are welcome. Anything? Thank you so much for coming through. We totally appreciate you today. It's great. Um, it's uh, it's. I I, I like that he was kind of like no matter who the messenger is, we we know how she can be, but we got to watch our backs too, kind of like we got you know this is this is a you know this is a this is nothing good. You know, this is what she's saying is not because he didn't. He never liked Sunny anyway. He, he was never a Sunny fan. Yeah. So I mean, like, that's the thing. Um, oh, Jordan gave. Oh, speaking of talks, Jordan gave BLQ good advice about some guy things about Chase's job. That was yeah. That was a good one too. That was the Jordan again to put people together we never see together. Yeah. Um, and that was that was that was a great conversation also. That was a great, that was a, that was a great conversation also, um, with uh, talking about that because it's never easy. And Jordan said that it's never easy um, to be the be the. You know, my mother was married to a man who they worked there for police, so she went that for twenty five years, and you know, you know, her husband could not come home, and I, I and that's and that's 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 something that's real for anybody who's in the military or law enforcement. Those jobs are, you know. I come from both those kind of families, and it's like it's 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 hard. It's an everyday thing, and so I thought it was very cool. They talked about it, and you know, and Chase saying you don't have to, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. She's like, no, I'm with you. I'm going to figure this out, um, but I'm with you. So I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that also. Uh, putting people together and never together is very smart. I totally agree. After the rant, I totally agree. Like, why not? It's like. Mm-hmm. They, it, but it made sense. So putting people together, it made sense. It made sense. It was like that's what they were talking about. It's it's just it's yeah. It made it made total sense. Yeah, because uh, you never know uh, those things kind of spark uh, writers as well too. Like oh hey, that actually turned out better than we thought. Let's uh, right. let's see what we can do with these guys. And Sheree, you're right. Um, Sonny likes Curtis and TJ. Remember, TJ, they're great. They have a great relationship. That's the whole thing. They have nothing against each other. So Selena may be off, yeah, but, you know, but there's something in there. There's something in there. That, that, that I, can see where, I can see where Selena's a little paranoid. Like, she's just not sure what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, especially, yeah. Well, I mean, it didn't help that, like, Sonny was, you know, kind of running his own game within the whole Selena Wu thing, too, where Hey, Ava's here. Oh, guess what? I have cameras set up everywhere. Uh, but you didn't really know that. So, you know, I can understand where Selena's going. Like, 
you didn't, I thought we were in this together, but you were running some additional elements into this that you didn't even talk to me about. Oh yeah. They, the talk was they brought Nathan. I thought it was very cool that Jordan brought Nathan. Yeah. That makes sense. But they bring up, why bring up Rory? He was nobody. I was like, <laughs> they bring up Rory. I'm like, who cares? Um, but, but Nathan was the last main major one that was killed. Um, and again, I think yeah, we were at After Us TV when we were doing the show then. And I thought they did a so you can watch the episode, they did a wonderful job with his end of watch stuff. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was really it was really well done. It was very realistic. It was very realistic. So anyway, so that's kind of good. Um, but yeah, but no, I I like this brought up I, I agree with you. I like this brought up Nathan. That was that was kind of cool. But that's that's what that's who she would bring this, that's what she would bring up. That's why it makes totally make sense. Um again, any, anything else we're missing? Uh no, I don't think I think so. I mean Ned is well, I guess Ned is back now, so we'll see. But all, uh, off camera, so he's back from Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he was busy over on on Days Rock. On, on, <laughs> <busy. laughs> on Days Rock lives. I mean, did I say that? Um, yes. I uh oh, we did see a piece of um Blaze. So I'd be there for Christina, which is cool, I guess. Oh, and we did see that that conversation over Kelly's between Blaze and her mom. Yeah, uh, Blaze and her mom, folks. Which again. I understand the parents' thoughts. She's like, "This is a phase. You were linked. Did you wrong? We just began to call Bob poisoning in the beginning. Um, it's yeah. So it's completely. It's I, I understand her thought process. She was almost like, "I'm accepting this because you went through something. It's very complicated, folks. Coming out of the closet, which I've done, is not an easy thing. Uh, and in some families, it's not easy at all. I thought it was very. I think it's very realistic." You should feel some anger towards the mom. That's just kind of the natural thing. But I understand as a parent, I understand her side. This is this is not the thing she wanted for her daughter. Um, it's not you know they're very Catholic. They set that all up for us. So to me, as long as you don't drag it on forever, um, you don't see that on soaps. But I didn't mind this little. I didn't mind that. It was like we we kind of see where her mother's coming from, what she thinks. But you know anybody who's been through it, which like I said, I have. It's not a, it's not an easy thing to go through. So it's just kind of, I think it's I think it's more realistic than some people are giving it credit. Um, and if you've if you've never been through it, it may be a little hard to understand. I don't know on either side of it, but I just I just think, well, well, Annie, they didn't write her mother until now. That's why she the writers made her mother not come back when she was going through trauma. <laughs> but like, it wasn't her fault? It was the writers, the writers. <laughs> And he's like, well, where was she? Was she? I'm like, well, if the writers are, they didn't think about her mother until recently. That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was, uh, the only thing that was weird about that is that there was such a gap between the the Metro court scene and the hotel in the hotel room to, to, to this. I'm like, so she was just like hanging out still in Port Charles, but not, right. not talking to her daughter. Again, that's all. writing. I mean, that's, that's, that's obviously pacing, but I'm hoping now because and that was the old writing. So yeah. see that uh, Frank. So that's what I'm saying. Now we get newer writing, it may be faster or better, or better, faster, better, stronger. No, as we saw, I mean, I don't know, it's gonna be something different, but that was part of the old writing, Frank. So, and we know their pacing was crazy. Um, so, um, but it, it, it is cringeworthy, it should be cringeworthy. That's the whole point. It's 2024, so it should be, you should all feel some kind of way about it. You should feel some way about it, but I thought it was realistic. Uh, I thought it was realistic. and. We have no, we have no idea what their plans are for Evil Over. We have no idea. We have is she just here reoccurring? Will she come on full time? I mean, is there room for her? We don't know. I mean, again, it's, there's so much going on in these casts. You know, but it's just, it just, it's a large, a large cast. And that's true. And, and I, I guess it, it's only her, her mom. Her dad's not in the right. picture. Right. Okay. Right. So we don't even know what they're going to do with Blaze. We don't know what's going to happen. We have no idea what the new regime is going to do with lesbian characters. We have no idea. So we got to wait and see. We got to wait. I and mean, see. heck, keep evil. Yeah, if you want to, you know, hook Evil Leroux up with somebody, I'm and I. I'm down. Yeah, she's beautiful. She is, she is age appropriate, beautiful. She can do all kind of stuff. I never knew Frank had hair until I see him with a cat. <laughs> Every once in a while, Frank doesn't have a cap on. I mean, not very often, but every once in a while over the years, he's had no cap. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, in the in the pandemic era, I really embraced. Baseball. You did. Yeah, you did. That's why you did. Yes, he had the, he had the hair. He had longer hair, all kind of stuff. Um, 
But anyway, so that's so the thing is, we kind of have to watch and see the next. I say, folks, let's give it to like the end of March, maybe beginning of April. Let's see kind of how all these storylines start to evolve and see what's going on. There's a lot of people on the show. So I'm I'm sure some are getting cut, folks. I'm sure there are. And I'm sure storylines will be coming to an end. And that's that's just how it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, this would be the great time to have just a murder mystery where we can I there you go. Give us a good serial killer storyline where people are getting dropped Max. off left and right. Max. Yes. Well, they could, but see, the whole thing is they could do that. So with this mob storyline. Whoever's in charge, we still know who's in charge. In yeah. charge, in charge. Like the whole Pikeman, is that dying? Is Pikeman gone? If I never heard that name ever again in my entire life, I'm happy. <laughs> I've never in my entire life. I've never heard in my entire life. Um, so that's fine with me. Um, so, but anyways, but it's just it's you know, who knows. I just I just think that uh, for me, I'm hopeful. Like you said, after you two, because anything is possible. We just don't know it. We don't know everything yet. Um, but I feel like they're going faster pace. They're trying to clean up the mess on a few things. They're really trying to. I feel like they're. It, it takes some time. It takes some time. I think the the Jason storyline for me will be a good barometer for how they're doing on pacing. Because yeah. so far, like you said, with these little reveals, it's going. Yeah. Uh, you know, but if they, you know, but and, and if these kind of kind of progress in a nice steady pace to keep us engaged, uh, I, like the storyline can take a while as long as you're still providing us information and stuff to keep us engaged, and it makes sense, and we're not just you know, holding patterns for, for no reason. So I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Now, some of you guys are saying you think hate sex is going between Drew and Nina. I think that was the old days. I don't think they're going to do that now. And same with Sonny and Ava. I'm not sure about that either. So I think that was the old days too. So I think yeah. that's done also. I'm not I sure. mean, when we edited that one episode where it looked like they're going in for the right. smooch. But that was old writing, so we gotta see they, if they continue. And then they stopped, and then they just give like a little like a little hug. There we go. Crystal, that was Crystal goes, they can invite everyone to the BLQ Chase wedding and have a bomb go off. Get rid of filler characters. Hey, oh. Moldav- Moldavia Massacre Dynasty. Shoot yeah. everybody. And because uh, folks don't realize that I remember that season, there were some contracts up. That's why they kind of went that direction. They shot everyone, so to speak. They're all laying there. And then next season, you found only two people will die. But that was the whole point. You always do that. So, yeah, you could do something like that. Uh, yeah, who wrote the who wrote the Your Welcome Note to Ava? They may drop that, too. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. folks, they may just drop some stuff and not give you nothing. And see, we already see, apparently, Nina had one thing that last up her sleeve. I didn't see that coming either with Joss and Dex. I didn't see that coming. It was like, she's over there. They're trading barbs. And she's like, when she said, well, did Dex tell you about my, about what? I'm like, well, like, at first I was like, what? I don't even remember what, what, they're, what they're doing. And it's like, oh, so it looks like, I saw the preview. It looks like it's going to be messy for a minute for them. Uh, Yeah, but it's also like, what does Nina know? Nina doesn't know anything. What went on inside that hospital room to, uh, you know, you know, I, not that I think that Dex wouldn't be honest with Jocelyn. But it's also like, you know, what do you know, Nina? You just know that he came out of the hotel room wearing scrubs. But Cyrus is still alive, right? So you still him. alive, still yeah. alive. So, so but you know, Cyrus is Cyrus again. He may not me. He may not know how to read a room, but he will survive a room too. Homeboy, he does. He's been beaten yeah. and thrown, and he does. He survives. Uh, I remember now. Will his radio show continue? Yeah, that's true. There's a lot. There's a lot we just don't know. Yet. So I'm very, I'm very curious. Yes, and folks are going to find out soon. With Steven stuff, it's going to, they're going to find out. It's just they're unfolding it. I don't mind, I don't mind this so much. He had such a big interest the last time. This one makes sense to me. It's like it's fine. Jake will find out. Elizabeth will find. They all, they all start finding out. When he asked for Mon, when he asked if Monica was home. I got a little excited for a second. Yes. Uh, I thought would it be cool if Leslie Charleston came walking in. Oh. I think it's Leslie Charleston, not I think it's it's her. It's not the show. Yeah. Um she's doing no, no, I definitely feel like the show would want her if she was yes. if she wanted oh, to be yes. Oh, I agree. Oh, I totally agree. Um 
is, I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good Monica Tracy scene? Who yes. wouldn't be, you know, like a Monica Drew, a Monica Jason? Yes. These are things that clearly the show would, that are great, that I think the show would want to do if if that possibility was on the table. Yes, I agree. I totally agree. So I'm saying let's wait and see what happens. And with that, anything uh, else? One question I'll ask you. Uh, given the way that they're kind of writing this, and it seems like we're you know we're at least closing the book on the invader as a uh, as a place for stories. Uh, what do you think about Nina? Is she essential to this show? She's not. She's not. Um, but, however, comma, as Tony would say, if they wrote her well, they could find room for her. This is a but, character that I would love to see a six-month hiatus for. That's fine. That. She's yeah. left... She's left poor Charles for whatever X, Y, Z reason. And then she comes back in six months later. You know, you kind of, yeah. Retool her, insert her differently into a storyline somewhere else uh, and, and try to explore other possibilities with her. But I feel like her as an ongoing presence, like I, I need, I need a break with her to be able to kind of reset that character a bit. Mm -hmm. That's a Frank Valentini question. Well, yeah, clearly. Um, but <laughs> Let me yeah, call him up. Um, Frank. <laughs> Ron Tini. <laughs> At our, our Frank Club meetings that we have once a month. Exactly. All the Franks get together. That's right. Um there's there's a little stuff. She could what they could do is have her find out about Sonny and Ava, leave town. That's that shoves her crazy. They were leave town for a while and then do a good comeback. I can see that. That's fine. Frank mm -hmm. loves Cynthia Watros. We yeah, all we love her. Yeah, I, you know, I just it's yeah. I mean, yeah, just like the character hasn't been given much to do, so it's you know a thankless right. role. But again, yeah. if these new writers have a vision, and if they write her, if they write, if they write her correctly, I just feel like I just feel like everything's in the writing. It's in on the page and on the stage. I just feel like if they really do invest in some of these characters and give them good writing and storylines, anybody will, look, will be good on screen. I think anybody be good. All the, all the actors can act. That's the thing. All the actors can act. So that, that, that's, that's, we got that covered. It's just, they've been written into, some people, like you said, been written into corners or written into to, to playing the same beats. I just think that there's, again, either make Nina a bad girl all the way or whatever. Because her and Valentine could get back together. And the whole Charlotte thing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm fine with that. I mean, we have not seen much of, I mean, nothing of Charlotte since she walked out into the, walked back to her bedroom, <laughs> or that she was on the patio once, and that was it. Patio. That was the last we saw her. So she may come back, and they may do a summer storyline with the kids. I mean, you just, you just never know. We don't, we don't know. We, we just, we just don't really don't know. That's true. It's been a while since we had like a, a good, you know, summer storyline with the kids. Right, and there's a lot of kids now on the canvas. They're all the yeah. same age. So and Pat, if Patrick and Luther go, we could do something in the summertime with them. That's a high think, possibility. Yeah, uh, you know. the pool set. Come on, the pool set. <laughs> Frank paid for that shit. He's bringing it back. You know, he's bringing that shit back out. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta monetize that, baby. We gotta monetize that thing. That's right. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just saying. I mean, that's like that's what I'm saying. It's just kind of like there. What there's there's again. I feel like every character has. As potential if written the right way. I, I do. I, I think every character does. I think, I think all the characters do. And I, I do. I do. No. Uh, fingers crossed for this new regime. And yeah. Get this stuff over the next ever the next month. We're like, yeah, all right. But don't worry. There, I'm sure there will be one storyline that will be like, why are they doing this? And that happens, of course. Yeah. And that nobody's going to hit 100. Frank brings a good point. And there's also that too. So we're not going to like every single thing. I'm not just saying because it's new, we should love it. But I just feel like we should give it a chance to see, just, just kind of just see what they're going to do. And I think that's not going to happen in one day or two days. And not even in one or two weeks. Now, for sure, we have a whole new writing regime. Now I can see what they're going to do. As I say, I would say let's, let's give it a month. And then really, we can delve into if it's better or not. Or if we like the direction they're going. It's like that could be, you know, 
that's something. So, but right now, I think they're doing close ups on some stuff. Yeah, and they're and they're and they're going steam ahead, they're going full steam ahead on a couple other things. So they're just kind of they're fine they're finding their way. Which is something they have to do that. You can't just come in and I mean, you, I mean, just you have to kind of like find a way to do it. Uh, and oh, we also had that one scene with uh, TJ and Jordan, uh, where like he when he gave her a donut, it was like, there's no way Jordan's eating that donut in the scene. Oh. She, she's not doing that. Uh, but TJ just kind of unburdens his feelings about this baby, uh, having such direct ties to Sonny. Yes. And and the, the dangers of his world coming into the to this child's life. I'm like, really? Uh, okay, I, I don't know. Well, Jordan said, "Did you guys talk about this before you got before you got together?" And he's like, "Yes." We saw his concerns. It was kind of like, okay. I mean, I care so I care so little about their marriage that mm-hmm. I, I just I couldn't even care if I could care less. I couldn't. Well, let's 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 honor it, uh, James. It's a domestic partnership. Oh, that's why I forgot it. See, I, I care even less about that. Yeah. Uh, TJ has a mug to celebrate that. What about May sweeps? I have no predictions. I have, I mean, seriously, I mean, all you guys, this is a whole new. I have no predictions. I, I don't know. I mean, literally, I, the only prediction I have is Jason and Connie getting together. That's the only prediction I have because I've read that's, that's what you want to do. But I literally have no, I can't predict anything because it's so, it's, we don't. They've just started. We don't. We don't know what they're keeping or not keeping. We have no idea. And who knows? The ball is going to happen. Maybe that. Right. That always seems to be a a good moment to. Right. If to. they're doing one this year, we don't know if they're doing one this year. As if they're doing one, I'm like, you know, it's just like, well, we have to wait and see. We don't. We don't know. We don't know none of this stuff. We have to wait and see what's going on. But like you, Sherry, I'm enjoying the new vibes. I'm kind of. I'm kind of enjoying the faster pacing. This sure. the, the localized stories. People are talking to each other we've never seen talk before. They're remembering their family. Um, to me, it's much more watchable. I am more excited um, to see what happens, and I have been in a long time. And that means something. That to me, that's going to keep me watching. That's to me. That's what. That's what keep me watching. I don't like spoilers because some of the spoilers. It depends on where you get them from, Luther. There are a lot of spoiler sites that are completely wrong. Oh my god, they're yeah. horrible. They're clickbait galore, and it just, it just and, and none of this stuff happens. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't read spoilers for myself. We've, it's, it's been a thing since After Buzz TV. I was that so does Tony Moore, same thing. I hear things here and there because from the business. If I know somebody on the show, I will hear a spoiler there. Chances are, and I may share with with Frank or somebody else. I'm going to share with you guys sometimes, but um, I do hear stuff. I wait till I hear stuff behind the scenes, but I, you, know, you read things and half of it's not even true. Half of it doesn't even happen. So I'm like, you can't even trust when you hear spoilers unless unless it's a scene they actually show a scene in the future. Yeah, it's those. Uh, there are so many articles written about that where it's like, oh, or, or posed as like, oh, this is a spoiler, and then all it is is conjecture. Like, this is Maybe it's going to be this. I'm like, well, that's not really a spoiler. That's just about your your speculation and your hopes. So, please don't say it's a spoiler. Right. I don't even buy spoilers by network because networks don't do spoilers really. They don't. They don't really don't do spoilers. They um, some networks they have a sheet of what's going to happen the following week. Of course, sometimes and you can you can get, you can get those on. Sometimes you can get those if you're part of their PR people. Um, but a lot of times they don't. They they tell you what they want you to know, like whatever is on the the, the next day or next week. Like why why aren't I goes next week? Well, uh, um, I don't I don't I don't know. I mean, for me, my network is actual actors and writers and producers on the show. That's why I give it. If I get a spoilers from one of them, who tells me personally what's going to happen and what's coming up. Um, so there's certain things I do know that I just don't. I I promise I can't say. Um, and Bob, telling you right now, I don't know anything at, all. at this point. I really don't know anything at all because it's just so it's so it's so new. Um, so, but I don't know. I don't really. No, I don't think a lot of networks actually give a lot of spoilers. It's usually it's usually spoiler sites and people who claim they talk to somebody or you said or sorry. I think this is going to happen. So it's going to happen. Yeah, it's not like no. Uh, I don't. I mean, maybe that's just a sign of the times of of the general soap opera landscape because I'm. I feel like. More spoilers or more like inside 
stuff was more was more prevalent back when there were so many more soaps. Uh, but now that it's just down to you know three on network and then you know one on streaming, I just feel like I don't know, like that 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 kind of like appetite or that kind of uh, landscape, you know, that that where we're like, oh wait, we got we're gonna be like I don't know, it just doesn't seem to exist on the level that it did back when there was a lot more soaps, and it seemed to be more like we got to know everything that's going on. So our digest releases weekly spoilers. Well, I don't like some of our digest, so I don't read them. No. That's my statement. So, so our guys is a trusted source. In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, I love, I, love, I, I, I stand I, by that statement, and you can tell Soul Digest to kiss my ass. <laughs> so, that's, so, so James LG and JLG, JLG, Media, JLG Media does not support Soul Digest, which is now just an online rag like everybody else. <laughs> the only sites that I actually like that are halfway decent are She Knows Soaps. Um, she's pre- they're pretty good over there, um, and sometimes um, Jason's forty seven. He's been around for a long time. He does day stuff. But other than that, I don't trust any motherfuckers. Mm. So that's my that's my statement. Sticking to it, you can tell them all about it. Uh, they so far Digest has never supported me or any of my shows. Never supported Tony or any of his shows. Uh, I've been doing amazing work for the last nine years. So it's Frank. So it's Tony. So it's Tammy. So a lot. Of, and they have never acknowledged us at Afterwards TV or here uh, on our own shows. So I have no, I have no allegiance. I know the folks who are I have no allegiance to any of them. Or so she knows. Well, whatever the fuck it means. I like them. So that's my, so that's my thing. So, so if, if they're doing spoilers, I will never read them anyway. I don't, I don't care if they're the last spoilers on earth or they have, if they know exactly what's going on next week. James Lott Jr. will not be even going over there to check that out. <laughs> I think I also think that uh I also think that um they're also racist. So that's my other thing too. Okay. Daytime confidential, only like one person at Daytime Confidential. She knows who she is. She's great. And that's it. Again, they've they've dissed me over the years also. They've stolen my some of my works over the years. Oh, trust me, I have a lot, I have so much tea. I've been in this business for so long. Trust me, I I tell truth to the devil. But there are a couple of folks at Daytime Confidential I do like, and they're great. Uh, but some of the other ones are not so great, and over the years have done me wrong, actually. So uh, yes, uh, I love Dan Kroll and Soap Central. I do love him. I love him. I like him. He's great. He supports me. He's great. So I actually, yeah, Dan Kroll's great. So he's fine. But yeah, I get trust me. I know this business better than you guys do. I know a lot of stuff that goes on. So <clears throat> I, I'm very outspoken about it. They're all, I'm listening. Oh, yeah, that, I just told you a little bit. There, there you go there. Yeah. Because of my Zooms, I tell all kinds of stuff in my Zooms. So I tell all kinds of stuff. So when I do Zooms again, you should check it out. Come join me. Ooh. Uh, and bring bring your bibs because tea will be spilt. Yep. So there you go, kids. Anyway, that's the end of this show. I am also <laughs> leaving. So I'm having my surgery and stuff. So I'll be back. Later, weeks from now, I'll be back, hopefully, alive and talking to you guys about soaps again. I just want to thank you guys for always for you for checking out the GHB Spotlight. Me and Frank appreciate it. We've been doing this for so long. Uh, we're going to celebrate nine years later in September, so we're going to do something for that. But we're very glad that um, you guys come back to us on Sundays. If we're not, if we're here every week or every other week or once a month, you guys do, or at nighttime during the week, you guys always come check us out and wise i see the numbers afterwards and i want to say hi to the to the to the uh podcast listeners frank say hi to them hi podcast listeners hi podcast listeners you uh have beautiful ears and we beautiful love ears. to them <laughs> beautiful ears beautiful ears um you guys are wonderful and um you guys also i'm gonna get there too don't worry we're gonna do frank's emails don't worry that's me allowed one of the last things um but i just want to say that we want to thank you because we won't be here was it for you we literally would not be here if it was not for you. You have a lot of choices out there, you guys. You guys have a lot of choices out there to listen to GH-related content. Um, but we're the OGs, folks. We've been here the longest. And I give you interviews. I give you insight. I give you shows. We give you shows. We do what we can for you. That's my That's my. I'm serving you guys. That's my point. So... We appreciate you guys coming back to us every time, whether you listen or whether you watch 
or whether you watch us live or watch us later. We appreciate all that. I have more interviews coming from GH people, all kinds of stuff coming up. Um, Frank, they yes. all want to know your email <laughs> count before we go out for March. Going out for mid-March. Here we go. 275165. 275165, kids. Dear Lord. Very good. That that's and I sent him an email actually, folks, and he yes. didn't read it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes he does read some of my emails, but I usually so folks, I usually send him something separately because I know about his email thing online. But I actually sent him an email, he didn't get it, so he really didn't get it. So <laughs> I'm not immune either, kids. I'm not immune. <laughs> I'm immune. I'm not immune either. So that's how it works. And I'm his friend. Um, we love you. Got to go, go, Frank. We love we love we love, we love you guys. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Uh, check out X-Men 97. Oh, yes. Uh, debuting this Wednesday, March 20th. Two episodes. Three years in the making. I've seen uh, all the attention. I've seen all the attention. So X-Men 97, you guys. Where can they find it? On Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Disney Thank Plus, you guys. He worked on it. He worked on it. 